welcome to our backyard garden and today I'm doing another tomato taste test for you guys. Uh, today I will be cutting into two tomatoes that I grew from seed from Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. And today I am cutting into the Black Beauty tomato and the Thorn Burns terracotta. Um, now the first tomato, this isn't the actual tomato that I, I'll be cutting into. I already, I actually cut into it already. But this is a beautiful tomato growing on the vine. Um, and the reason that I'm not outside with you right now showing you is because it's eight o'clock and we had another debacle of a day. So Farmer John is just getting home from work and sitting down for dinner now, and I'm cutting his tomatoes fresh. But this is a black beauty tomato in case you've been wondering about it. Um, while it's growing and developing, it stays green on the bottom and black on the top. Now this one I pulled early because the rain was coming, but it's just starting to blush. Now the one that I cut into today was truly ready and it's the first I'm seeing it. And it's the first Farmer John will be tasting it. So it's a really beautiful tomato. So let's, uh, let's turn you around and show you what the Black Beauty looks like. So well, I already started cutting into this before I realized I didn't show you guys what it looked like on top. Now, this tomato seems like it wants to crack at the shoulders um, and it gets a lot of stress marks, but we did have a lot of rain. Um, and look at this when I cut into it. Oh my goodness. This is a gorgeous tomato. Um, this is the first time we'll be tasting it, so I'm not really sure. It looks like it has true and traditional tomato flavor, and I'm really happy that it's so beautiful because the vines are very, very tall, and they are really growing prolifically. So um, look how beautifully it cuts through. And wow, there's really, it cuts down like a steak. Look at that beautiful veining absolutely beautiful tomato. So we're waiting for Farmer John to come down to dinner. So right now I'm going to show you the next tomato, which is going to be a thorn burns terracotta. Now I'll tell you, we have cut into a few thorn burns already over the last few weeks. And the very first one that I cut into, it kind of freaked me out a little bit because the outside looked ripe. It was nice and plump and soft when you touched it, but Shockingly, when you cut into it, it has a lot of green gel inside of it. Um, I really didn't want anything to do with it. My brain says tomato has to be red. So while I'm adjusting to eating some of these beautiful multicolored heirloom tomatoes, which is unusual for me, um, the thorn burns is a little bit of a, of a stretch. So I'm going to get ready to cut into this for you. Now you can see, this is, I don't know if you can see my thumb and is gently pushing into it. So when you touch it, it is nice and soft. You guys know what a ripe tomato feels like. Um, and you can see that it aged beautifully. Um, there are no disease on it, no stress, mar stress marks. It is a beautiful, pristine tomato. Um, so I'm going to, this one was vine ripened and I'm going to, so it should be absolute deliciousness. When I pulled it off of the vine, it was actually very warm still. So probably got very sweet inside. So I'm going to cut this one down too, and I'm going to put it next to the Black Beauty. And then when Farmer John is ready, uh, we'll have him come over to the counter and have a taste and he can explain the flavor to you. All right, you can see all the, the juices running off of this beautiful Black Beauty though. This is a really beautiful tomato. I think he's going to like that one. So here we go with Thorn Burns and I'm gonna turn it around and cut it from the back so we can uh, just slice away a little bit of that blossom and you can see the green. See what I'm talking about? Now, this is just a completely different type of tomato. Oh, but look at this one. This is really beautiful inside. Look at that. It's really beautiful, but the green, I don't know at what point the thorn burns is ever, you know, not going to be green inside. I think that this is just part of its character. So, um, but the red portion Look at that, really gorgeous. Now, the last one that we tried had a very, very tough skin, but you can see that the skin just peels away 
nicely. So if the skin is too tough for you, you can just peel it away after you slice it. Look how nice that comes off. Making it very, very, very easy because if you have suffer from any type of acid indigestion from tomatoes, normally the skin will really intensify that for you. And as a vegetarian, you know, we are well versed in what causes digestive problems and what doesn't. So removing the skin of tomatoes definitely helps for digestion if you have acid problems. So hang on, Farmer John's getting ready to come down. We're about to do a taste test. Finally, Farmer John gets to sit down and, and have a meal. So Farmer John, I'm gonna feed you right now a piece of uh, Thornburn's terracotta. I'm ready. Now, um, mm. I took the skin off of it for you. Oh my God, so, really good. Um, traditional tomato flavor. Mm -hmm. Is it juicy? Very much so, yeah. Is it bitter? At the very end. It's got a bitter. So, Just at acidy the end. bitter? A little acid bitter. A that's little all. acid bitter. Yeah. Okay, well, that's interesting. So, the next one that you're going to taste here is this beautiful, this is Black Beauty. Black Beauty? Yeah. Mm. Oh my gosh, so soft. <clears throat> I need another piece. Oh, may as well take the whole thing. Okay. That's really delicious, but it's different. It is. It's okay. not a traditional tomato flavor, but still really good. Oh my God. Oh, and it finishes so nice. Very sweet at the end. It's sweet. Not bitter. No bitter, no acid. Not bitter, not acidy. It finishes really, really sweet. Beautiful flavor. Now, when you say it's mm. it's not the same as a traditional tomato, I'm sorry for the noise in the background, you guys. Our parrots sorry. want our attention, so and it's late at night for us, so they'll quiet down in a second. So when you say it's not the same as a traditional tomato, what do you mean? It's like when you have a tomato, you get like, I, I can't really. It's not a traditional big tomato flavor. So when you first taste it, you're not going to get that, wow, that's a tomato. Okay. It's kind of subtle. So. And then right at the end, it sneaks up on you with this sweet punch. It's okay. beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful flavor because it's soft, it's mellow, and then it builds. So it's really, really nice. So it's nothing like a Park Swapper? No. And nothing no, like not the Thorn Burns Terracotta? Absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely not. Is there something that you think this tomato, either of these tomatoes would be better for other than being a slicer? I was going to say a big sandwich. <laughs> you think they're sandwich tomatoes? I do absolutely think they're sandwich tomatoes. Okay. Yeah, and sure. salad yeah, sure. as well then? Sure. Absolutely. What would salad. You do you, uh, what do you think of the green gel inside of the thorn burns? Does it that, doesn't bother me, doesn't but bother. I know it can bother some people. Is it um, a texture? No, that, no. To me, there's no texture. It's the same texture as any tomato. Um, so there's no problem with that. Um, so it's just green? It's That's very all? good. Yeah, it's excellent. A1. Ooh, we almost, almost knocked, knocked it down. down. He's so excited to eat. <laughs> A1 total, two thumbs up on both of these. But I really enjoyed the um, the black tomato. What is it called? The black beauty? beauty. The black beauty. All Absolutely right. Absolutely incredible flavor. Both seeds are from Baker Creek Heirloom Seed, so check it out. So Enjoy. all right, you guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If so you good. like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hey, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. It was amazing. We'll see you in the next video. <laughs> see you guys.